Hello, welcome back to A Quick Look. I'm Zoe Jewell, and today we have some tough news to share. After weeks of speculation and media frenzy, the royal family has announced that Kate Middleton has sadly been diagnosed with cancer following her abdominal surgery in January. In a video posted to social media, Kate herself explains her diagnosis and her process of coming to terms with her diagnosis, telling her children, and also asks the public, the media, to give her some privacy as she works through this diagnosis and also as she completes her chemotherapy treatment. So as I mentioned earlier, it's been a media frenzy surrounding Kate Middleton. We knew in January that she was going in for abdominal surgery. And in the last basically two months, people have begun questioning what's going on with Kate Middleton. Why hasn't she been seen in public? There was obviously the whole Mother's Day debacle with the Photoshop. I think that is really what led people down these conspiracy rabbit holes. And now finally, after again, the weeks of speculation, the media frenzy, the rumors, Kate has broken her silence and has shared her truth. So this is what she said in the video. She said that she underwent abdominal surgery as we knew and as we were told in January. And initially they believed that it was non-cancerous. It was going to be a non-cancerous surgery. Um, and they just were doing it to get something removed. Now, she did not detail in the video what kind of cancer she has or what specifically they were doing in terms of the surgery. But after the, the surgery was complete, they then found out following some tests that there was cancer present. Um, she revealed that she is in early stages of preventative chemotherapy. So she is still getting that treatment as of right now. Um, and she went on to explain that it's been a really difficult last few months for her and for her family. She said, quote, it has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I am so grateful. She also went on to thank William for being a big support to her during this time. And she also shared that she waited a little while to reveal her diagnosis because she herself needed time to process the diagnosis to recover from the surgery and also get through those first um, few times of chemotherapy, but also to allow her time to tell her children and for her children to come to terms with what was happening to her and for them to know that she's going to be okay um, and that she is doing this to be the healthiest version of herself. Um, she said, quote, as I, as I have said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body, and spirit. Obviously, this is really sad news. Kate is only 42 years old. She's still very, very young. And ha you know, being diagnosed with cancer at any age is obviously a shock and is really difficult to deal with. But I can only imagine how challenging it would be to, well, one, be as young as she is, two, be as in the public as she is. And obviously, as we as as we saw over the last handful of weeks, her being out of the public eye creates this entire frenzy, but also having really young children to have to tell this news to and for them to have to deal with it um, has to be extremely difficult. So I sympathize so much with Kate um, and I makes me feel really bad for her and what she's had to go through, um, not only dealing with this diagnosis, but then also dealing with everything that's gone on recently. And again, the rumors, the speculation, the questioning, wondering where she is, why she's in hiding. Um, and I, I think it's a great thing that she went public with the diagnosis. I think not only will it, I think, stop a lot of the questions and the scrutiny and the digging that so many people are doing, <clears throat> but I also think her being very open and honest about her diagnosis may help other people who are struggling in the same position. It might encourage people to go to the doctor and to get checked and to make sure that their health is in order. Um, and I also think that while the royal family and just everyone that works for the family has not necessarily handled the last few weeks 
the best way possible. I definitely think there's been, it's been bumpy and I don't necessarily blame everyone for speculating or for questioning or for wondering what's going on. But I do think it's a great reminder that we truly don't know what people are going through. And it's very easy for us to come up with these silly conspiracy theories or feel like celebrities speculating on the lives of these famous people. It's all just a game. But the truth is that these people go through stuff way that we go through stuff and struggle and have health complications. And they always say health is the great equalizer. Um, and it's true. Even somebody as successful, as famous, as rich, with as much power as the royal family, they still struggle with these types of things. Um, it also, this diagnosis comes again right after it was revealed that King Charles is currently um in treatment for prostate cancer. So it's just, it's a, it's definitely a, it's been a tough few months, I think, for the royal family in general. Um, and all we can do is just send them our thoughts, our lo love, and um, I think going forward, give them the privacy and just the consideration that we would want for ourselves. Um, so I think that's a great reminder for us all going forward. Um, and I hope that Kate heals well recovers well and um, and gets back out there doing what she enjoys doing and being with her friends and with her family and all of that. So that is it for today's A Quick Look and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.